Let's move on to main topic number two. And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Michael Lameza, who writes, Greetings, John from Toronto. Ah, from my own stomping grounds. I've uh, been a big fan since the Collider video era. A Quiet Place 2 just got a new release date of Friday, September the 4th, right in Labor Day weekend. This does not seem like a good sign since very few people go to the movies on this long weekend uh, to begin with. What are your thoughts on the new date, and do you think it will stay on this release date? All right, thanks a lot for sending in the question, man. And hot damn, my most anticipated movie of the year has a release date again. Now, listen, I totally understood. I totally understood why they had to pull Quiet Place 2 off its release date, because it was supposed to be in theaters right now. But what they did was when they pulled it off the release date, they gave it that nebulous, you know, uh, to be determined sort of thing. So I didn't know if we were going to have to wait a year for this thing to come out. I didn't know if this is, was going to come out in late 2021 or for whatever reason. But now they have pointed out that we've got Quiet Place 2 has set its date and it's only pushed back to September, which I think is great. September 4th, 2020 is the new release date. And listen, Rob, I'm excited for this movie for a couple of reasons. Number one, because of course the first one was my favorite movie of the year, the year it came out. The first one was my absolute favorite movie of the year, the year that it came out. Secondly, the trailers for this one, I thought have been fantastic. I thought they've been exciting. They captured the feel of the first one. They were terrifying. All captured that little thing. And who doesn't want to see Emily Blunt back in these things? And the kids in it were great. And Killian Murphy is fantastic and whatever. Wonderful. As far as the whole notion, though, of that, you know, oh, that release date, that weekend isn't necessarily a good weekend. I think all bets are off right now as far as what, what is normal this year. What is normal this year doesn't apply. And I think that by the time the movie theaters get back up and running again, and I think there's a chance the theaters may be open again late July, whatever, but and then they're going to need time to ramp up. By the time September rolls, rolls around, I think you're going to see a really huge hunger and a lot of people to be really getting back into the flow of quote-unquote regular life. That's, I mean, listen, anything can happen in the next month or two. We, we don't know. I'm just saying theoretically speaking. So theoretically speaking, and so... Uh, maybe there are some years where that, but basically it's never a bad idea to have a release date on a long weekend generally. And I think this is great. I didn't want to see it pushed as far as December into 2021. So I'm personally very, very excited about this. Rob, you hear about the release date now being given to this movie. Excited, sure. But maybe should they have put it on a different date, even if it meant pushing it later? Or do you think this is a good one for them right now? Well, I think you got to start somewhere, and I have to say, John, you and I were both pretty agog over these trailers. I mean, this movie, as far as sequels go, I mean, this looks like the aliens to the first movie's Alien, and I, I'm, I want to see this stuff. I mean, this looks like some total delicious nougaty filled goodness that uh, movie fans across the world want to see, and I think that uh, absolutely. To know that we now have another date to look forward to. I, I, I mean, there's. I've spent my life, John, since I was a kid, knowing when a movie comes out. I mean, I had a calendar on my bedroom door counting down the days to Star Trek The Motion Picture's release date. You know, I changed the number every day for like a year. So waiting for things and knowing what days they come out is kind of something I've, I've built into my own DNA. And with CRISPR, and I really want, <laughs> I really want the, to know these things. I mean, now we got a new date for Top Gun. We got a new date for Justice for Han, which is now the new name for, I mean, Fast, the Furious Saga, the Fast Saga. No, it's just Justice for Han. That's coming out. We know when that's coming out. We know when Top Gun Two is coming out. I'm just very excited now that 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 the joy that I look forward to, I know when it's coming, and I'm I'm hoping that the world will be back to normal by then. Yeah, and for me, you know what? It's just, look, I'm not pretending we are on the brink of this whole thing being behind us. I I'm not pretending that at all. But I just got to say, it feels really cool talking about movies getting new release dates. And, and yep. instead of talking about, instead of the only thing talking about, it's like the next round of movies that have been pulled. And the next, it's kind of fun to, to say, hey, we got a new release date for this one. And I, whatever, I'm very excited. Doesn't mean I'm pretending the problems aren't still there. They are still there. I'm just saying... It feels kind of good to talk about that. Question here is, guys, 
How excited are you? Maybe you're not even excited all that much about Quiet Place 2. Maybe you didn't like the first one all that much. I loved it, but maybe you didn't. What do you think about the new September 4th release date? I think it's great, but maybe you're not thinking it that so sure. Jump on down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.